So it's very exciting to get the uh, new innovator award. We're trying to think about psychiatric disorders in new ways so that we can find new ways of treating them. Many people have thought about psychiatric disorders as resulting from too much or too little um, of a particular chemical in, in a particular part of the brain, uh, basically causing that part of the brain not to work. And that's enabled us to develop many drugs which have helped patients with schizophrenia tremendously. They've uh, reduced uh, the intensity of their hallucinations and delusions um, and relieved a lot of suffering. But what these drugs haven't done a great job of is, is really improving these patients' abilities to interact socially and uh, to think the way that they did before they became ill. We want to um, develop new ways to think about these disorders and to think of them not as too much or too little of, of one chemical in one part of the brain, but to think about circuits in the brain as, as functioning or processing information in the wrong way. Uh, first, we're going to take advantage of, of new technologies that let us measure and control the activity of not just one cell at a time, but many cells at a time. And this will allow us to see how cells interact, how they generate patterns of activity. The second thing is we'll be able to look at different kinds of cells and, and figure out do these different kinds of cells play different roles or different functions within the circuit. And then thirdly, we'll be able to use tools from math and physics, um, uh, ideas that were developed to, to describe the, the functioning of, of complex systems to understand this incredibly complex system, these brain circuits. So how are we actually going to measure the way that circuits in the brain work? Well, we're going to do this in much the same way that um, early computer engineers um, would reverse engineer uh, microprocessors. They would take these microprocessors out of computers um, and they would measure the activity of different components of these microprocessors in order to get a picture of how all the components work together. We're going to use um, new advances that enable us to uh, stimulate um, particular cells in these circuits with light or record um, fluorescent signals from these cells that tell us when these cells are active. And that way we can take these isolated circuits, um, deliver patterns of input by stimulating particular cells, measure the activity of particular cells, and then use our analytical approaches to understand how all these different cells are interacting to carry out particular functions or how those functions go wrong in the case of mice that mimic particular psychiatric disorders. In this way, we hope to, to understand how the circuit functions uh, in, in, of certain brain regions change in psychiatric disease and also identify um, new interventions that might restore normal circuit functions, uh, allow uh, these brain circuits to process information um, the way they did um, uh, before those circuits became sick and thus hopefully treat uh, some of these other symptoms of schizophrenia and other disorders that are really holding a lot of patients back from reaching their full potential right now.